What up YouTube, Bowtie Brem here once again. Today I'm gonna be letting you guys know how I fit 35s on a Rough Country three and a half inch lift kit. Let's go take a look. All right guys, so I recently, well let me go over the wheels first. So these are 17 inch by seven and a half stock wheels. They're painted in this awesome gray flake color. Looks really nice. These are, I'll show you right here, 35 1250s. So the guys at the tire shop told me that, well, at the uh, chain tire shop, it was the first shop I went to, and they said a 12 and a half wide tire, there's no way it'll be able to go on a seven and a half wide rim. Turns out you could do it. I looked it up on the forums, they said you can do it. Now, the second thing they told me is they said there's no way your tires are gonna fit on there, you're not gonna be able to turn. Well, I'll have you guys know that I rub less on 35 with stock wheels than I did with the 22 by 12s and 33s or 20 by 12s and 33s. I did have to do some trimming, which I had previously done, but this is the trimming that you have to do to get them to not rub at all. Ignore that. My dad cracked that. He went up in my driveway full lock and went about 10 miles per hour into the driveway. So right here, I don't know if you guys can see that, but you have to cut out a notch in the fender liner so the wheel can turn. And back here, there's no rubbing at all. That was just previously done up by me accidentally hitting a bump going fast. It does not rub full lock either way. If you go to full lock, it does, you can see ever so slightly, it hits the sway bar, but that is like, ever so slightly you don't even notice it i can back up a trailer full lock and everything in reverse forwards no problems at all I'll give you guys a little look of the truck what it'll look like so that's what it looks like the truck did get since i have 35s now obviously bigger tire it gets taller the truck sits a lot higher videos really don't do it justice but it sets like probably four inches higher than with stock tires which is awesome gives it a real aggressive look i'll come around i'll show you the back back gets a little close to the fender or the mud flap but you still got room and yeah, I'll give you a back look of it. Get down low. You guys can see that. I was really looking for an off-roady look. You know, I kind of got sick of the big rims and tires. And as I told you in my mini update, you know, I just got a deal. Someone offered me something that if I would have refused it, I would have been dumb. I made a bunch of money off of it. But that's the truck. Once again, 35 1250s. On a rough country three and a half inch lift kit stock wheels the wheels are 17 by seven and a halfs with 35 by 12 50s if you guys got any questions or anything let me know you know i love the way it looks i'll show you there's no it gives um so with a 1250 tire the tire sticks out more than the rim and the tire sticks out flush flush with the body of your truck so it gives you a flush look there's no poke or anything like that it's nice and flush it looks awesome i love the look of it yeah that's uh those what the 35s are like you know love the look i got no complaints you know i'm thinking about doing a train horn next i was gonna get an off-road bumper i think train horn time one last walk around I'll get to the front and let you guys go. But yeah, this is the boat type Brown Mobile and where she's at now. If you guys have any questions about anything, let me know in the comments below. Like the video, subscribe. Stay safe out there, guys. Have a blessed day. Peace out.